Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will explain Faraday's loss of electromagnetic induction with the help of a small experiment. Faraday's loss of electromagnetic induction is a basic principle of electromagnetism. It explains how magnetic field will interact with electric circuit and produces EMF. Faraday's loss of electromagnetic induction is the basic operating principle of transformers, inductors, electrical motors and generators. So what is Faraday's law? Whenever a conductor is placed in a varying magnetic field, an EMF is induced. The induced EMF in a coil is equal to the rate of change of flux linkages. EMF is equal to minus n into d phi by dt. This d phi by dt indicates rate of change of flux. n indicates number of tones. This minus sign is the direction of EMF explained by Lenz's law. To perform this experiment, we need a 24 gauge coil with 100 tons. Okay, the ends of these coils are internally connected to the connectors. These ends of these two coils are internally connected to the connectors. And bar magnet, this is north pole, this is south pole. And another instrument is digital multimeter. Initially, the multimeter knob in off position so it produces very small amount of current that means change in magnetic field causes emf which produces very small amount of current that's why this multimeter knob is positioned in micro amps okay multimeter knob is positioned placed in micro amperes okay now these connectors multimeter connectors common terminal that means black terminal common terminal com common terminal is connected to the one of the connector similarly another connector another probe of multimeter is connected to the another connector so this is coil okay so the two ends of the coils are internally connected to the connectors and multimeter probes multimeter probes so these probes are connected to these ends of the two ends of the coils okay so now this is bar magnet so so this bar magnet is placed inside the coil just observe the multimeter readings there is no deflection in multimeter now the magnet is moved multimeter shows the deflection so one time positive current another time negative current just observe the directions of current so if rate of change of magnetic field is increases high current also high just observe the magnetic movement magnet movement and current directions suppose magnetic field that means magnet is stationary multimeter shows zero reading that means here there is no change in magnetic field change in magnetic field produces current change in magnetic field produces emf eventually it produces current this is the basic Faraday's loss of electromagnetic induction. If magnetic field rapidly changes, current also increases. Just observe it. So, Maxwell equation, famous Maxwell equation for a time varying fields is also a converse of Faraday's law. It states that change in electric field, change in magnetic field brings change in electric field. So, Hope you all understood. Just observe the current readings. Okay now. If magnetic field is increases, current also increases. Hope you all understood. Thank you.